Get ready on the radar guns. First pitch from Paul Skeens is cut on and missed at an even hundred. And this group, big time home run hitting potential and Christian Moore, man, he was good in the regional. You, you're going to watch a big leaguer tonight. I mean, a guy that honestly you could fly to Yankee Stadium tonight, in this case Boston, and he could start Sunday night baseball tomorrow. Pitch number seven to Ahuda. And he strikes out on 102. Buckle up, kiddos. This one might be kind of fun. You got a Tennessee who is not going to be intimidated. Here comes the 1-1 to Ensley. Fastball on the ground to short. Diving stab. Jordan tops in and not going to get. Skeens delivers. Line to third right at Tommy White. 101 coming in. What do you got? About 112 going yeah. out? At least. Of this first. Strike three calls. 101 at the knees. I mean, a year ago, Andrew Lindsay was coaching 13-year-olds on the East Coast when this tournament was going on. But what an addition. He has been set the all-time freshman home run record last year at NC State in the college game. Grounds this one to short, and Maui Ahuna slipped defensively for the first down for Lindsay. Stay alive and use the backside of the field. Strikes out on a nasty 96-mile-an-hour sinker. First game for Lindsay, and there's two gone. That, that's the bowling ball one right there. <laughs> that's and it's he's not just flipping it in there tonight. Took off last year for personal reasons. Morgan singles off 95 into center. Two out knock and LSU's first base runner. In the home half of the first. Line toward right center field by Travinsky and on the move for Paul Skeens, who goes back to work in the second and gets his third strikeout. Fan Zane Denton, the third baseman in the five spot. And this is about the only thing that'll slow him down. 15 tonight, beach ball one. Breaking ball again for strikeout four. Merritt goes down via the punch out. Two gone. He's thrown one fastball in the inning. He struck two guys out. Payoff pitch. Yes. We got to get that. on that hot dog. <laughs> I was going to say, we got to get that to David Esker. Blake Burke snares it and retires Beloso for the first out here in the home half of the second. It's here yesterday as well. This is sky to left field by Dugas. See ya. LSU strikes first. Well, they don't give number eight to just anybody in LSU. They give it to the leader. And Gavin Dugas has been coming up with monster hits for LSU his entire career. How about a hanging sinker that is launched? into the left field seats and power with the bat. Take strike three calls. His 0-2 is a fastball at 100 for strikeout number six. I don't, I'm going to be really interested to see what a. This one is Sky. Short setter. Thompson calls for it. And that's one the athletic department will let you put on the expense report. They don't mind that one. Fix the wall. He was the coach of the Tennessee River Baseball Raptors, 13 and under, a travel ball team out of New Johnsonville, Tennessee. He started ending up here tonight. And here he is in Omaha, Chris, as Josh Pearson. Frank Anderson knew the numbers worked. He's and seen he, a few of them. Yes. <laughs> and, and he uh, playing here for the first time. Bounces this one right side pass Burke into right field. Pearson stops at second. Back-to-back -back singles to begin the third for LSU. One of the reasons his plate discipline. Jay Johnson said he might be able to hit 20 home runs. Former catcher as well at Air Force. That is a sinker, and Lindsey has to settle for one. Second and third, one down. Now Lindsey's 1-2 to Morgan. On the crowd, off the glove of Lindsey. Gets the out and the run scores. Tried to handle the comebacker. Josh Pearson taps home and it's two zip LSU. Now Hayden Travinsky, first pitch swinging off the end of his bat. Burke flips. And now a fastball lined to short past the dive of Thompson. Hunter Ensley's got a couple of hits. Saw uh, Paul Skeens, the only two for Tennessee. To get in the barrel where it needs to go. And Josh Pearson's in for the first out. It's an early May where he hits six. And he slugs this one to left, and Josh Pearson roams into a sliding catch for out number two. One two to him. Runs away, run around the move. Travinsky's throw. Got him. 
Hayden Travinsky cuts down Hunter Ensley to close out the top of the fourth. But that two seamer can be special. Hey, hey. Strike three called. 3 1. Ball four. Is outside in a five pitch walk. Lindsay's ready with an 0 2. Line pass Burke. More hard contact from Braden Joe Bear. And Dugas first to third. The throw to second. Does not get him. It's a double into right. And second and third. Out of the wind up first pitch to Jordan Thompson at the box. Fourth. Cut on and miss. One of the best sinkers yet for Andrew Lindsay. Two down. That was like the one he threw Tommy White back in the first. To where it starts on the inside. That is cut on and miss. He kept saying we came together to get hey, hey. here. Strike three called. A hundred on the black and a smirk from Paul Skeens, his eighth K. I mean, Skeens is good enough on his own. Griffin Merritt off the hands, shoots one into right field, the base set. One out single for Griffin Merritt, the DH. 2 1. Shallow in the left. And Pearson. Skeens 2 2. Cut on and miss. 100. In these first couple of days at the Men's College World Series. Three one run games? I mean, are you kidding me? 3 2 on the way. Oh, that was filthy. We, we said, give us an example. Big league pop up toward Tommy White for the first down. Oh, this guy's got a few knocks off him, but Jordan tops in with a throw. Trey Morgan the stretch to get Hunter Ensley. The ruling at first base is confirmed. Out. You would turn in a report that said. No, no, I've seen a guy do it once. Wild pitch kicks away from Cal Stark trying to locate it. 2-2. Two -two. Cut on and miss. Two outs, Travinsky aboard. And that's hit hard toward the gap in right center with Ensley on the move, and it's off the base of the wall. Travinsky scores. Joe Bear takes for third. Headlong dive with a run scoring triple. Dented the center field wall. This is a hot shot off the glove of Ahuna, and it's 4 nothing. LSU in the sixth. Look at that piece of art. <laughs> Bounce the first, and Burke with a mishandle, but a recovery. This slice to left, and Josh Pearson runs it down for the first out of the seventh. Fastball dotted at 99. 10 Ks for Skeens, two away. He's got two outs here in the seventh. His 98th pitch is... Ball four. Ball four at 100 to Zane Denton. One, two from Skeens is cut on and miss. 99 from Paul Skeens glancing back to check his velo with strikeout number 11. For a likely top three pick. <laughs> Who jams one into shallow right, and Scott made a diving bid, but it drops down. And Cruz has a leadoff double. 0 for 3, a couple of ground ball outs in this one. 2-0. Tommy Tanks lines one to left center, and it drops down. With those two lineups. Back to make the catch. Cruz in the clean whites tags after his starts. Two twos cut on and missed by Hayden Travinsky. Oh. Just said what he said of, of a team that's All built. Four. All four. Gavin Dugas strikes it well in the air to right center and Scott with room. How about this, fellas? He's thrown seven innings tonight. On the season, he's thrown 114. Line to center, right at Dylan Cruz. 1-2 to Christian Scott, is line towards center. Cruz on the run, can't get there. Plays it on a hop. Scott digs the throw, does not get him. 2-2. Two -two. Hey, hey. oh, strike three called at 100. 200 strikeouts this season 
for Paul Skeens and a dozen of them tonight for Maui Ahuna. I mean, the average fastball is basically 100. He's certainly not running out of gas. Big league bullpen for the back half of the season. If you're not going to bring him to the big leagues, that's totally fine. I don't love him. Skeens deals from Paul Skeens. 3 2 on the crowd in the center field, the base hit. Scott races around and scores. And the balls are on the board in the eighth inning off Paul Skeens. His journey has taken him here to Omaha, and on this stage, he was a star again tonight. In the front of your mind. First pitch swinging there. Ensley to deep center, and Cruz is back. And that ball is off the top of the wall and gone. Skeens out. Ensley strikes. Bouncing ball chopped up the middle. Jordan Thompson had to wait on it. He gets rid of it and got him. Dickey wants a review at first. The call of the field will be overturned to save. Christian Moore takes. Yeah. Cooper's 0-2. 1-2. 1-2. It's strike three call. You got KP. Uh, I've got it's consistent with what we've seen tonight. That's what I've got. I mean, it's that's pretty darn close, boys. I mean, up down, maybe it's half a ball off, but that's been called a strike tonight. It's been consistently called a strike tonight. And he pulls this one going to right. See it. He's hot. <laughs> Is 1-1 one, one to Cruz. Ensley coasts over. And the inning is over. Winner of this one plays Monday night against Wake Forest. The loser plays Monday afternoon against Stanford. 1-2. Cut on and missed. 93 up the shoot from Cooper. One away in the ninth. The 0-1. Then Josh Pearson is there for out number two. 1-1, one, one. and Burke chops it up the middle. Thompson went for the short hop. And Tennessee's got a man on with two outs here in the ninth inning. Payoff pitch, line back to Cooper. He's got it, and it's over. LSU wins. Mm-hmm. <laughs>